So here I am on stat key, and for this one, I'm going to do a bootstrap confidence interval for a difference in means. So I'm going to click on that link. And then this is data that I uh, found myself, so it's not in the drop down. So I'm going to need to upload the data. And then I just select the quantitative and categorical variables. That's not super important. Um, maybe I should move my video a little bit. Oh, actually, I just scooted down the stat key, and now I think that it's showing. So we can see the observed difference in means there. It says x1 bar minus x2 bar is negative 3.97. Uh, it looks like that's even more accurate. I had negative 4, um, but it says n1 is 28, n2 is 172. It's got the observed means, um, and then it has the difference in means. And if we were going to click the button and generate one sample, we would take a bootstrap sample with replacement from the original sample. So we'd still have 28 in the first group and 172 in the other group, uh, but we're going to get slightly different means. And in this case, my bootstrap statistic, my bootstrap difference in means was 0 0.85. So I put that dot on the plot. And maybe I'll just be really lazy and click the generate a thousand samples button here. Uh, this distribution is a bootstrap distribution. It's going to be centered around my observed sample statistic, in this case around negative four. And then there's two ways that I could do a confidence interval here. The easiest one is just to do a two tail. And then maybe I should change this to not be 0.95, but be 0.9 to be consistent return. There we go. Um, and the other thing that I could do is just look at the standard error. So I'll stick a screenshot into my notes. All right, so here we go. If we looked at the confidence interval from the bootstrap approach, it would be negative 9.975 to positive 2.084, pretty similar to the one that we found using the distributional approximation. There also might be a question on the homework that asks you to compare the standard error that you found using the bootstrap, in this case 3.631, with the standard error from the formula. And the standard error from the formula was 3.47, so they're a little different in this case. Um, and that might be because this condition is not met. So that's the bootstrap approach. Uh, but you would come to a similar conclusion because zero is in that interval as well. So those are two ways to make a confidence interval about a difference in means.